Hi, good morning and it's Wednesday the 6th of January and here's your this morning's assembly. Right, I hope you had a good day yesterday with remote learning and we realise it's all very very different and some of you might have had technical issues at the start of the morning but we certainly hope those have been resolved and so you were able to access your work, you worked hard yesterday and you followed teachers instructions and their directions and you enjoyed your learning right just a reminder don't forget that um, as you're working at home some of our teachers are working at home also and they're planning your work so if you can whether it be yourself or an older brother an older sister a family member ask if you can photograph scan email your work back to your teachers and I am sure they would love to see it and remember there might also be the opportunity of earning tokens whilst you're working at home so keep doing that keep working hard so this morning's assembly I'm going to introduce a word to you and the word is called epiphany right you might want to say that with me epiphany right now Epiphany is celebrated 12 days after Christmas. So imagining Christmas Day, 12 days afterwards, there is a special time of year within the Christian calendar called Epiphany. And it's a time when the Christians, Christian people, remember the journey of the three wise men who travel to see Jesus. So Epiphany. The word itself actually means revelation. So yes, the wise men travelled to see Jesus and they found Jesus in his manger within the stable. And it was the time, epiphany, meaning revealed. It was the time when Jesus was revealed to the shepherds, the wise men, and also to the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you the story of Epiphany. It's a story that many of you are quite familiar with but probably always good to remember and revisit it every year. So the visit the wiz the wizard the visit of the three wise men. The people of Judea didn't realise that a star had risen over Bethlehem. They didn't notice that the nights were no longer dark that a new star, brighter than any other that had ever appeared in the sky, directly above the stable, was there where Jesus lay. Now, King Herod, he himself heard of the star through strangers when three wise men came to visit him from the east. And he said to them, What's that light which is appearing over that country? I've noticed there's a new star in heaven. It doesn't move like the other stars. It stays fixed in one spot. One spot in Judea. Herod looked at the wise men. They were old and skilled at understanding and interpreting the movement of stars and their meanings. But he couldn't understand what they were trying to explain. And their next question took him by surprise. And they asked, where is this child who is to be born King of the Jews? Now King Herod, what? Born to what? He explained, he exclaimed. King of the Jews? And the three wise men said, yes, we think he's the Messiah. We think he's the saviour that all the world is waiting for. That's why we're here. Now Herod didn't like that idea at all. He was king of the Jews and he wanted no one to take his place. And so he called for all the high priests and all the highly skilled scholars and said to them, What do you know about a new king of Judea? Is it true that we're to have a new king, a new Messiah? And they all bowed and said, Yes, my Lord, it's true. All the words of the prophets ordained and said that this would happen. When? Where? The king demanded. And one of the scholars came forward and said, Sir, it is all written. It's to happen in Bethlehem. Now at this point, Herod had heard enough. He turned to the strangers and immediately ordered them, Find this king, he said, and come back. 
tell me where he is. Um, I want to go and worship him too. So the wise men set out and once again the stars stood out brilliantly clear in the eastern sky and its light drew them onwards and they followed it until over Bethlehem until it seemed to stand still and there they found Mary and Joseph and they found the baby Jesus lying in the hay. They knew this was the king they had come so far to find and they fell down on their knees and worshipped him. Then each of the wise men reached into his saddlebag and drew out the present they'd brought with them and gently they laid their gifts on the hay around the baby Jesus. They gave gold which was a gift for kings. They gave frankincense which was burned on the altar of God and they gave myrrh which was used to help wash and cleanse bodies. So that's the story of the three wise men's journey under the instruction of King Herod. So Epiphany, now remember that word, Epiphany, is the time of year when Christians remember the journey of the three wise men and they remember their discovery of Jesus. Now Epiphany, there's also an Epiphany Eve, which is also known as Twelfth Night. And you might have heard your parents talk about this, but Twelfth Night, where people believe that marks the end of the Christmas period. It marks the end of the Christmas celebrations and also a time, possibly, for taking your Christmas decorations down. Now, I quickly Googled what else is special about January the 6th. And this made me smile because today is National Bean Day. Now, I'm not a favourite, a fan of beans, but you might be. So it's National Bean Day. It's also National Shortbread Day, which again is very different, isn't it? So um, you might you might have shortbread in your food cupboards, perhaps left over from Christmas. But um, do like a shortbread biscuit. But it's also National Technology Day. And we should perhaps give a thought to all the technology that we use in our lives. Mr Arnold is now recording himself using technology and we use it on mobile phones. Think about all your game consoles that you use, your Playstations, your Xboxes. All of that involves technology. So it's National Technology Day. So that's the end of my assembly today. And I'm thinking about the last slide that I showed you yesterday, which was simply have a dream. Now, I don't know if many of you did plan your resolutions at the start of the year, how many of you have kept to your resolutions. But as we talked yesterday, have a dream. Set your sights high. Aspire to something great. So with all your remote learning that's taking place at the moment, aim to be the best that you can be. Work hard. And as I said at the beginning, share it with your class teachers because I know they would love to see it. And there's always that chance of earning tokens and it might be for any one of your houses so have a good day keep working hard we do miss you but hopefully we'll all see you soon but in the meantime enjoy your remote learning you take care everybody thank you